My name is Nirat. I am from the class of 2018, and currently I'm in Singapore. I'm doing my two years military service, and so far I've completed eight months. I've got a one week leave, so I get to escape the camp and come here see civilian world. Meeting my family, I haven't seen them for so long. Catching up with whoever is in, um, it's whoever from my class currently, and just you know, coming back to the like Vietnam. I guess what I missed most about SSIS or in general is like the privileged lifestyle I had back then. You know, like we had aircon, we get to go home every day. My typical daily routine would be wake up at 0600, uh, fall in 0615, breakfast 0630, then go back, take a shower, then 0800, form up, make a first parade. Right now, I'm a personal assistant to some sergeant major, like a high-ranking guy. So I do whatever he tells me, which could include printing stuff, lifting boxes and all that. Uh, but I think next month, I'll be a security trooper, which is a fancy word for security guard. I plan to study in Singapore as well. So I already have a placing, so I'll just resume my studies and life will move on. Exercise really prepared because of like the diverse culture we had here. Like we had all international students. And in the military, since Singapore itself has all kinds of races, yeah. so like I did not feel so left out in the sense that like they were all like different ethnic groups in the military, which do while some others find difficult, I found it like I found it pretty comfortable in that sense. I really like how we, we get to form good bonds with uh, teachers and other people in SSI. In the it's like a community, you know. Yeah, yeah I like that idea. During my time in SSIS, I started a community project here in Vietnam and we worked to provide assist the deaf community in, Sa in Saigon. Uh, so before I left SSIS, I made sure I passed, out, I passed the torch to like, the underclassmen in order for them to you know, continue to help the deaf community here. And now, even though I'm not in Vietnam, I still like contact them through Facebook to make sure everything's going well. If they have any queries, they do let me know. And I think it's going pretty well. They've expanded to other schools and even instead of Vietnam, sorry, instead of Ho Chi Minh City, they went to other places in Vietnam like Hoi An. So it's pretty awesome. Yeah. And I feel like, I feel like, I feel more happier. I see that people are still like supporting this idea that I really believe in. Uh, just continue taking out my bucket list of food to eat. So I've had my pho hung, I have my bun cha. Kom Tam is not yet done. Right. You Anything know, else? Any other food? Come down. Banseo. Banseo. La Fiesta. You know, like the fine dining option. You don't get there <laughs> in the camp where you're eating the same food over and over. Mm -hmm.